so this is a really impromptu video I might not even post it who knows but I just read a really brief article on the mighty.com called um, to the friends who left me because of mental illness by Megan Camello and like it's just really like hit home for me because it's something that I've experienced a lot in my life and I don't have I mean I've had it sort of confirmed by consultant psychiatrists that I don't have a mental illness but I have suffered from trauma which has caused me to be mentally ill for periods of my life um so I do completely recognize what she's talking about and how most of the people in our lives probably aren't there for the long haul and it's really sad I think I'm really lucky that I've got I think I'd probably say I've got 10 maybe even 12 15 really good friends like people that I know are always going to be around um and that's a shitload I think compared to most people so I'm really really I do feel really lucky but it is a really common thing anyone who suffered from mental illness at any point in their life whether it's like a long-term condition or something brought on by events like what was the case with me is that there's so much stigma in our society about it that people will walk away from you and they'll feel justified in doing that or is it if you were physically ill and your friend ditched you because they couldn't handle your symptoms they would know they were acting like a dick <laughs> and society would confirm that but with mental illness it doesn't work like that and there's still a lot of work to be done in terms of the stigma <sighs> so yeah it really hit it really hit home for me and like reading this article because I really feel like especially right now and I just feel so burned out from work because like I've been on a process of recovery for the last year from like some really traumatic like emotionally traumatic things that happened and while I'm feeling um like loads better than than I did like loads loads better than I did a year ago um I still like work is very physically and emotionally draining and um now I'm on annual leave I'm really exhausted so I'm feeling very fragile today and I'm feeling like I don't know how to like I've constantly got these thoughts going round around my head, this paranoia of like, I know that there's some people that will up and leave when I show a side of myself that isn't completely calm and collected because like a lot of people can't handle it and that's a shame because I'm a really fucking good friend, but sometimes in order to see that you have to be around me long enough for me to get out the bad patches the dark patches and I understand that so I don't know this is a bit of a waffle sorry but I just this is really spontaneous I just read the article and I just wanted to say something because it's like really ringing true for me today especially because I just don't feel super good I'm having a mental health day and I wanted to on my first day of annual leave get loads of stuff done but instead I've just slept <laughs> and uh, now I'm sitting in bed watching Game of Thrones obviously and hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better but to all those of you who are still around having seen me in crazy hysterical embarrassing awkward states thank you like you mean the world to me you're my family and I really hope I can spend my life paying you back and letting you know how grateful I am that you still love me for all of that and to everyone who left like Megan Camello says in her article thank you thank you for the time you gave me and thank you for showing me the limit of our relationship it was a hard lesson but I'm grateful to have learned it and to be wiser and stronger as a result okay much love, guys. Mwah. Bye.